Okay, so let's say you have a 80 watt light bulb connected to 30 volts. Tell me what's the current reading going to be and what's the power going to be, the, power, the actual power output of the light bulb. Okay, so what is I and P of the light bulb? Okay, now here's the, what we use here. When I say that the light bulb is an 80 watt light bulb, what do I mean? Does it always give 80 watts? No. 80 watt light bulb is intended to give you 80 watts if you hook it up to a AC source giving a, a effective voltage of 120 volts, right? So uh, the typical outlet of our homes and of the school, what is the, uh, the typical outlet? It's a voltage of what? 120, right? In America, in uh, Europe, they, they use 220. Right, So the 80 watt light bulb is supposed to give you 80 watts if you hook it up to uh, 120. But right now it's not going to give you 80 watts. So what we got to do is we got to uh, find its resistance using the fact that I'm going to use this version of the formula using the fact that it's an 80 watt light bulb only when it's hooked up to a 120 volt AC outlet. Okay? So notice which equation I use now. P, I didn't use P equals VI. I didn't use uh, P as I squared R. I used the V squared over R. So I know it's 120 volts, square it, I get 80 watts. So now find its resistance. 14400 zero, zero, divided by 80, cancel 10, 8 goes into there once, 64 goes in there 8, 180 ohms. So now I used the fact that it gives you 80 watts at uh, 120 volts to find its uh, resistance. Now I set the circuit up. Now find the current in the circuit, okay? 30 volts divided by 180, 1 sixth, which is 0.16, right? Point one six amps, good, you see? Now, what is the power that it's actually going to give? Well, I could use either of the three. I squared R because I know the current. I could use VI or I could use V squared over R. Okay. Uh, in this case, I'm going to probably use uh, VI. It's the easiest. VI. Is that it? Yeah, that's true. I run like I, if I were to do this in reality, I would probably go a little bit more sig figs. Then I would multiply, you know, and then I would round at the end. One sixth. What do you get? Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. If you get one sixth, you get uh, exactly five watts. Now notice it's an eighty watt light bulb, but it's only going to shine at the brightness of uh, five watts. And see, it's not going to shine at its potential. One last thing I want to mention, too, is 
uh, when I gave you the Ohm's law, one thing uh, I didn't mention is Ohm's law is not necessarily universal law that applies to all materials. Ohm's law is saying that the voltage versus the current is uh, linear. There are some materials that kind of behave this way. Uh, I believe it should go like this. These are diodes, okay? So uh, what happens here? Maybe you have here like this, it kind of plateaus a little bit like that. These are known as uh, diodes and they are meant to allow current in one direction but not the other. And we're gonna do a lab on this. So this material, notice what's happening. As the current is, uh, as the current is uh, negative, as the, uh, let's see, yeah, as the current is negative and the voltage is negative, the, it's low current, okay? Actually, you know what? Uh, they usually plot it this way. Yeah, they usually plot the, uh, for the diode, they usually plot the current versus the voltage, okay? So it's meant to illustrate this. If I, let's say I have a diode like this. So if I hook up, if I hook up the battery to the diode in a certain direction, if the voltage is positive, the current is, responds well, the current is goes bigger. The bigger the voltage, the bigger the current. If the voltage is opposite, if I switch the battery, and, I, and now I make the voltage negative, the more negative, the more negative I make it, the current doesn't go down, you know, the current plateaus. In some cases, you, you might even be like this, completely zero. As soon as the voltage is the other way, the current is completely zero. And not only is the current zero, over here, the slope is constantly changing. And what would be, the, the, resi uh, the slope of that would be what? One over the resistance, one over the resistance of the diode, right? So as the slope is increasing, the, the resistance is decreasing, you see? So over here, one over R, is greater, that means the resistance is lower. That means for the diode, as the voltage increases, it likes that, its resistance decreases. Okay, so I'm just trying to show you from here that not all materials have a linear relationship between VI. Some could be nonlinear, okay? So it's not a universal law. Okay, with that, we finish off chapter 27 and the next time we'll get into 28. Uh, that one is going to be a longer chapter.